<lacht> Alter! Ey, wie anfängermäßig ist das denn? Yes! Hey guys, this is Timo Buske and you're watching Blit Photo Tutorials. Today I'm gonna edit a nice autumn shot. Okay, the first thing I wanna do here is uh, cropping the image. And I think I'm leaving the S back to ratio as it is, but I want to have um, this spot here on the grid. So I'm taking the crop tool and, okay, I'm choosing aspect ratio and now I'm going to crop this. I think we can cut away this tree because it's far on the side of the image. That should, that should be it. Um, and the next thing I want to do is retouching it because I want to get rid of uh, the street lamps and uh, the drain here, so um, let's create some um, adjustment layers. I'm going for a clone layer at first because it's a bit faster and then later I switch over to healing layer. Yeah, the easiest thing, thing would be to remove this drain here. Choose a brush of the right size, just paint a mask. Well, this already is pretty okay. Okay, let's change the healing layer. Okay, the next thing I want to remove is uh, those street lamps here. Um, I'm going to create another adjustment layer, switch to clone, and um, I zoom in a bit and choose the right brush size. I want this to be a big bit bigger than the lamp itself, uh, so I can just draw straight lines with a shift key. Just a bit bigger. Okay. If you want to go really into detail, you can now paint away everything here, but I think you won't recognize this. Maybe you do, but let's don't do it 100%. Okay, so now I'm choosing the area where the new stuff comes from. It should be parallel to this fence here. That looks very good. And if you go, okay. If you look closely, you can see that something is repeating here, but if you look from the distance, this should be okay. So let's go for the second street lamp. Again, choose a clone layer. And paint the mask. Again, let's not do it 100%, just the most important parts. Uh, and we need to choose the source area. I think this is okay if we switch to heal layer from the distance. You can do this much more uh, exactly, but I think this is okay for now. Maybe tweak a little. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, next thing, uh, let's care about the light a bit. So, um, let's desaturate and I want to get the impression that uh, the area around the edges of the image is, uh, are a bit darker and um, that here in the distance there is some kind of light. So uh, let's just darken this by adding a vignette, negative two or something. And um, I want to edit the levels for the rest. So um, I want to bring back the blacks 
and I want to increase the contrast and make it uh, much darker by um, adjusting this middle value of the levels here. Yeah. And now I can just add a little light here by painting a bit of exposure. So I'm creating another adjustment layer and grab a brush choose the correct size, around this size, and I'm going to increase uh, exposure just around one something. Yeah, this is a bit better. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's it for the light. Um, next thing we can do is care about the colors. Or No, let's start with the sharpness. Um, standard workflow, radius to zero, amount to maximum, and I want the leaves on the ground really sharp here, so let's focus on those. Um, yeah, the radius should be around 0 0.7, this is fair enough, but it's a, bit, a little too sharp. Can reduce this to about 500 and maybe do the rest with the structure tool. I think this looks really good and really sharp. And um, yeah, as you can see, the image already works in uh, black and white, so uh, let's keep this variant. Um, and now let's do the colors. Um, I'm increasing the saturation. Uh, we want a really vibrant autumn impression, so I think we need a lot of uh, saturation, maybe around zero-ish. I just leave it at zero, we will see later. And um, I'm going to edit the white balance because it's pretty easy to do a autumn uh, image out of this. We just need to increase uh, the temperature a bit. I think, at least I think so. So, uh, yeah, we can go really high here, around 8K. I think this is it already. Uh, so um, we have two nice variants from this picture. We can uh, brighten this up a bit for the black and white part. And let's see uh, before after, before, really standard uh, digital shot. And now we added a lot of mood and um, really nice colors for the autumn variant. And I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.